This here is a great example of what it will look like if your downspouts are connected to underground drains and the underground drain portion is clogged up. See how the water is backing up out of the drain? It's coming out from here and the connections in the downspout. If you tap it, you hear how it sounds hollow? That's because this whole downspout see, see, is filled up with water because the underground drain portion is completely clogged uh, and it's, it's backing up out of the gutter. Now the downspout. So that's how you can tell if you have um, issues with your underground portion. All right guys, you wanna make sure when you wrap up your hose, when you're done with the job, that you're wrapping it up the proper way. At the end of this video, I'll show you how I do it. Um, that way you don't tangle it when you go to unwind it. And how you unwind it, you can just hold on to one end, throw the others, and there's no tangles, all right? That happens by wrapping it up the proper way. So look at the end of this video for how I wrap up my cords so that they never get tangled. These drains are very clogged up, the underground portion, um, so it gives you a good idea of how long it'll take with some really nasty clogs. Um, keep in mind though, at this house, we are uh, gonna be replacing all of the gutters and downspouts this upcoming Monday. So when you see me being a little rough with the downspouts or if you see something bent, that's on purpose because these are all gonna be trashed anyways uh, and we're just coming back and replacing them. So I am not gonna clog up, uh, uh, unclog any, any clogs that are in the bottom of the downspouts. I'm just focusing on the underground portion and honestly, I'm just gonna rip the downspouts out of the way. The tip that I'm using at this job is a 5.5 uh, opening. It has one jet, uh, new camera, I don't know where it is. Oh, there we go. So we got one jet that's facing forward and we have four or five jets that are facing backwards that will propel this through the pipe. That's what it looks like. And again, since we are uh, replacing the downspouts, I'm actually gonna leave this so that uh, bent away so that any debris that comes down the downspout while they're replacing the roof, um, it does not go into the underground portion. Um, I know the rest of these are clogged up a little bit more than this one particular, so let's go ahead and move on to the next drain. Now this drain here, I know that it's clogged up quite a bit. The homeowner had put on a little extension and uh, bypassed this, but there's standing water in this. 
so we'll go ahead and start getting it uh, flushed out. Okay, we had to do a little something different because it was so clogged up. Um, from right here to right here, this is a T-section. Our tip was not making it around that 90 degree T and it was clogged up right there. So I used the ball valve right here on the gun just to excavate a little bit of the um, ground portion. Then I fed the uh, jetter directly into the T. It is heavily clogged up and you can see that um, it is trying to daylight right in here. Okay, so this side of the house, I didn't film it because it was nasty and yucky. I didn't want you guys to see me cussing, but we had the uh, very last drain outlet over here. It comes straight, and then this drain right here tees off right here. You can see that there's a T, um, and also the roots have grown on it, so there's a big dip uphill, a big dip downhill, big, big dip this way, which makes it very difficult to get the um, jetter around, but we did get that done. And then it simply ends right here in the middle of the yard. I can feel the edge of the drain right here. Um, so we're gonna recommend to the client that he puts a pop-up emitter right here and right over there on that side. And then I'm gonna end the video by showing you guys how to wind up the um, cord so that you do not tangle it up so uh ryan keep it keep it on this side if you can um can you face it towards me okay so you want one of the loops to go you want to go underhanded see how he went underhanded right there and now he went a regular loop the next one all right wait right there pause pull pull that one back out so i can do a close-up you see how this is the cord, and then he's going underneath it. He's going underneath it, handing it back to himself, okay? Now he's doing a regular loop. I would call it an outside loop. So that's on the outside. I think that's the end. Yeah, I know. Do a small one just so they can see. All right, see how that's on the inside? See how the new piece... Here, let me hold this. See how the new one, instead of going, instead of going around like this, he is basically taking wait right, let go let go he's taking the loop and going an inside loop okay now uh just grab like four or five of those loops okay all right this is what happens all right you see that it will not tangle so that's the benefit of doing it that way because basically when you're just looping it constantly you're putting a lot of tension on the line by but by doing that backwards loop all right see how he went underneath See how he went underneath the previous loop? You're taking the tension off every other twist. All right. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, feel free to reach out to us, DIV Cleaning Service. Uh, if you need any underground drain flush, any gutter cleaning, exterior cleaning, in the Wake County, Central North Carolina area, we, still, uh, we service all the way over to Greensboro. And come 2021, we'll probably actually be servicing all the way down to Charlotte as well. So God bless. Take care. Hope you guys have a great day.